Okay, Scott, down here in Mazalon, Pablo, you remember him? Cooking fish. <laughs> we cooking fish. We're cooking marlin. Yeah. <laughs> it was tail wrapped, so it, it was dead, so we're making the best of it. So we're over here, and what Pablo and the staff has showed me, and this is one of my favorite ways of eating a lot of stuff, is the marlin. I brined it in crab and crawfish boil for about six hours. Then we took that and they cook just about all their fish and shrimp in a garlic and olive oil and butter combination. To this, you can add a little bit of shrimp. Yeah. And you can add a little bit of octopus, octopus to that too. That's just going to dress up this portion of it. Now, back in the day, I ended up winning the International Rice Festival. And I did it with a dish similar to this. It's a risotto, but it's ain't a risotto like what you normally cook. This is cooked rice. We added butter, and we added sour cream or crema to it. And these vegetables are all al dente. It's asparagus, We've got red and yellow bell pepper, broccoli. I'm gonna give this a quick stir. You can add more vegetables to it if you want. Okay, Scott, here we are for presentation. Got the little ring mold. Putting our risotto in there. This is a uh, 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 green chili. Now, is this uh, tomatoes? Oh. Is it green chili? It's uh, tomatillo. Tomatillo. Uh, tomatillo. Tomatillo. Pepper and cilantro. Okay. Put it put, yeah, I'm gonna put make a little bit of color on here. And you can do this with all kinds of other fish. You don't have to come down here and catch a marlin. I mean, uh, I can see doing this with striped bass, with any number of those uh, Catalina offshore fishes. They got all kinds of fish you could do that with. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of trail dust up on top of here now just for a little color. Okay, Scott. Come on down here and make you some of this, and uh, we'll all eat it together. We'll treat Pablo for a change. <laughs>